oysters, mm. for the fish, our shell. Uh, it was not possible to use the same area every year. It was not possible to use scuba diving when they were available. Uh, we had some kind of quota and they were quite respected. So when we began this agricultural farming in the 70s, we still had a lot of shells. And in all the other countries in the Pacific or Indian Ocean, where they had the same kind of lagoons, mm. they had the shells. They don't have enough shells to settle uh, farms and uh, in the industry like we have in French Polynesia. Mm. Only Cook Island, but Cook Island is Polynesia. Yeah. Mm. It's the uh, same kind. Mm. So uh, they have Manihiki, where they produce pearl, but only Manihiki. Here we have 30 atolls. Uh, where we, we have some pearl farms. Mm. <coughs> Is it all right to take a picture? Of course. Thank you. Not of me, of the Of course. <laughs> <laughs> You're also beautiful. <laughs> no, no, the shell. The pearls are beautiful. <laughs> so, in fact, uh, what also is very important is that in the beginning of the story of the pearl farming in French Polynesia, the government really, really quick uh, understood that yes, <laughs> that uh, we will not able to continue this activity if we just rely on the broodstock and the wild shells. We need to find a way to have more shells from another way. There are two ways, the hatcheries and the spat collection. Spat collection means catching the larvae which are in the, in, the, in the lagoon and uh, have a technique to catch these larvae. Right. Spat collection is used all around the world for mussels, oysters, edible oysters, scallops. So we had to find a good way. After 10 years of research, we have uh, finally found something uh, quite interesting. It's to use this Shadow mesh from agriculture. Oh. So curtain of shadow mesh. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we cut it in some little piece like that. We put on a rope, three meters deep under the surface during the hot season, so between October to March. Mm -hmm. And uh, the larvae in some lagoons, uh, we have billions of larvae in some lagoons, like uh, Takarua, Takapoto, Ahe, Manhi. They are very small, tiny lagoons. So we can have a lot of shells in these lagoons. So in one collector like that, we can have 200 one-year-old shells. So it's very efficient. And for more than 30 years now, we cannot dive and pick up the shells on the coral anymore. Mm -hmm. If we want shell, we have to buy the shells from this professional doing that job, spat collection. Mm -hmm. So all the, the shells in the farm come from spat collection. Mm -hmm problem is that our problem is not uh, always the problem for all the farms but our problem is that we buy the shell when they are one year old so one year old they have this size small like that okay so we bring them with the collectors and uh, with boat and here we touch them from the collector we put on the rope like that so we have to drill them near the mouth and we hang them for about two years in that row. For two years, growing them until they have about this size. Mm. Then we grow them in this, uh, what you call that, chaplet, for about two, three months before we can seed the shell. So before doing any pearls, we have to grow the shells. We have this growing process where we lose a lot of shells, in fact. We have predators. We have some kind of disease, and uh, also we discarded all the shells uh, which are not growing at all. We have okay. many shells which are not growing at all. Right. So, uh, from 100 shells in the collector, we will give to the technician to seed the shell half. 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 <coughs> and even the shell, even to the technician, he will not seed everything. I will talk about the what how we do the pearls, but he cannot use all the shells. The anatomy is not the same for all the shells, and we cannot see all the shells. Mm -hmm. 
So now we have this shell available for to produce a pearl. And the technique we use to make this pearl is a Japanese technique. It has been invented by Mr. Mikimoto in the last century. So Mr. Mikimoto was living in the was uh, an adult <laughs> about the 1880 and he was uh, trading pearls in fact uh, natural pearls oh. and uh, as i said most of these natural pearls have a baroque shape mm -hmm. a few are symmetrical or round and these symmetrical pearls were and still are very 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 expensive mm -hmm. so mr mikimoto I think <laughs> wanted just to <laughs> have a little bit more money and wow. try a way to make more roundish pearl. It was really the beginning of the goal mm. of Mr. Mikimoto is trying to induce round pearls. Mm -hmm. And um, at that what time, was the date? what was the date again? 1880. 1880. 1880. Yes. 1880. Yeah. Oh. And at that time, the only thing the the scientists and uh, all these men uh, uh, I, yeah. <laughs> no new sorry new mm -hmm. new yes <laughs> about how it works is that all the natural pearls mm -hmm. are found in the mantle this is the mantle of the shell uh, yeah. you know this part yeah. stick on the shell mm. Mm. And all the natural pearls were found in the mantle. Mm. In fact, the mantle built the shell. Mm. It, it might have other functions, mm. but one function of the, the mantle, M-A-N-T-L-E, yeah. mm. is to produce the shell. So that part of the shell, or the inner part, which is made in our shell, mm. of mother of pearl. Mm -hmm. So the mantle built the shell, and the mantle produced mother of pearl. So, Mr. Mikimoto, he wants to make more roundish pearl, okay, the mantle produces more of pearl, okay, try to put some kind of bead mm. into the mantle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For many years trying something like that, never mm. obtained any pearls. Mm. He tried also to glue uh, beads on the shell, but obviously he knew that he will not have a good answer from the shell. Mm. <laughs> I mean, the, the mantle covered the bead produce mother of pearl so we have a, a, a shell with just mm. a blister something mm. like that never a true entire pearl mm. at that time he, he has two options he had two options i stop i continue to sell my natural pearl mm -hmm. or i really want to make round pearls <laughs> 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 he found the second option is better and <laughs> 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 try different things and he, 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 he finds something very interesting uh, which is very illogical uh, absolutely illogical mm. but it works <laughs> you see in this shell we have this kind of appendage mm -hmm. it's a kind of appendage mm -hmm. from the anatomy of the animal we have just something like that mm -hmm. with no vital organ inside oh no vital organ inside we mm. cut it the, uh, the animal survived mm. and we had 20 different species of pearl oysters in the world only three have this appendage developed uh -huh. all the other pearl oysters they had nothing at all mm. nothing so it's kind of neutral neutral part of the shell mm -hmm. and it just thought maybe I can use this neutral part as a pocket mm -hmm. to grow my pearl I cannot grow my pearl elsewhere just go out or nothing mm -hmm. so I will try and it, it, it was the beginning it was the beginning of the story then obtaining a few pearls he, he invented some tools to make something can repeat have good results all the time and more roundish pearls mm. so then he make a, a patent for that mm -hmm. and for more than 50 60 years this technique was kept secret mm. completely completely secret mm. and uh, it's only when the japanese company went 
uh, in foreign countries, in other countries, that uh, they have shown a little bit how it was working, and uh, now we can talk about that. We have Taishan uh, uh, grafters mm -hmm. in China; they have grafter tools. But at the beginning, it was completely uh, very difficult to understand how mm -hmm. they were using the shell to produce the pearl. Mm -hmm. So the technique is first to have a shell with a appendage. We call this appendage the pearl pocket. Perfect. It's the name that we mm -hmm. give. To the, to the part of the shell mm -hmm. because the scientists never gave any name to something which has no function at all <laughs> no function no name <laughs> like that so <clears throat> in this append this pearl pocket we will put two things the first one because we want to make a round pearl mm -hmm. uh, because we want to make some pearl with a size a precise size we put a nucleus, and here in French Polynesia, we put a six millimeter bead for the first operation. We put a six millimeter bead when we grow, when we seed the shell, when they are three years old, like this one. Mm. Because the pearl pocket is quite small, mm. we cannot put a bigger bead inside; mm -hmm. it will explode everything. Mm. So we put this six millimeter bead. To insert the bead into the pearl pocket, we have to cut the tissue of the pearl pocket. So we cut the tissue not directly here, we cut here, near what we call the basis filament of the shell, mm -hmm. used to fix the shell on the core, ah. yeah, this filament. Uh -huh. It's a, a little bit like our uh, nail and mm. uh, the same kind. Yes, keratin. keratin. Mm -hmm. So we are here and we make a way to go, so we make a curve like that mm. into the muscle and the tissue of the of the pearl pocket. Mm. Very precise cut. Mm. We have to respect the symmetry mm. of the pocket to be center. Mm. We have also we, we have to reflect that we want to put the pearl in the center part of the pearl pocket. It's important for the for what will follow mm. then. Mm. And uh, so quite difficult, very quick and uh, difficult. Then, once, once we have put the bead inside, it's not enough. We want this bead, which is made of mother of pearl. It's a bead made of mother of pearl. Mm. It's exactly the same than that. It's oh, not plastic or anything mm. else. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay? It's mother of pearl. Mm. It's in the official definition of a culture pearl. We have to use bead, mother of pearl bead, mm. and these beads come from freshwater mussel caught in the Mississippi River. Mississippi. <coughs> yes. <laughs> like this, like this freshwater mussel here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the Japanese they bring everything in Japan. They have a special machine. That's why only them are doing that. Or mm. Chinese also, and uh, they shape, they shape the shell to mm. obtain these beads, mm -hmm. which are very well polished. Mm. If you see that with a microscope, there is no flowers, very, very well perfect. polished. Yeah. Very, yeah, perfect, perfectly round also, mm -hmm. with precise size. Mm -hmm. So we use the six millimeter one. Mm. So the bead is into the port pocket, it's and not you enough. And buy the beads, and yeah. these are made... In Japan. In Japan. Yeah, yeah, coming you from US. I can say it's an international pearl. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we say Tahitian culture pearl, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not, not really. So mm. we need to put another thing into the, the, the pearl pocket because we want this bead to be covered with layers of mother of pearl to make the culture pearl, mm. which will grow around this first part of mother of the, the base is the, 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 the bead, and then we we have to surround it with a coating of mother of pearl. Mm. So we put also into the pearl pocket a piece of mantle. You remember the mantle mm -hmm. producing the shell, producing yeah. mother of pearl, yeah, yeah, yeah. and sometimes producing uh, natural pearls. Mm. So we put a piece of mantle also into the, the mm. pearl pocket. This piece of mantle, named graft tissue, mm -hmm. is about two millimeters square. It's not coming from the shell we are just sitting. We sacrifice a shell. We cut entirely its mantle. Mm. We cut the mantle a small piece. Mm -hmm. The good part of the mantle, because the mantle might produce also 
the calcite. Mm -hmm. So we want a mother of pearls, mm -hmm. not the calcite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not really fashion. Not, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. Yeah, not yet. Yes, not yet. You never know what will happen. Mm -hmm. So, uh, with one shell satisfied, 30 small pieces of metal, mm -hmm. we will see it 30 shells. Mm -hmm. What is very difficult at that time is to put this piece of metal as close as possible to the beat. Mm -hmm. If it's not close, yeah. nothing will happen. Mm. And the bead will be rejected slowly mm. by the way we have inserted it. Mm. So we will lose the bead. Mm. We call that a reject. Mm. If the mental piece is close to the bead, first, first thing, very amazing thing, is that we have put the foreign cells mm. into the animal. Mm. It's inside mm. the shell. So, of course, there is kind of... Uh, reject mm -hmm. the shell the shell uh, attack these cells mm -hmm. they are kind of uh, how you say that uh, shock eaten mm -hmm. they are kind of eaten mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. there are so, some like kind of en enzyme yeah. Yeah. going to, yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. what is Foreign. very interesting the cells producing mother of pearl not really attack uh -huh. <laughs> what they do they make a skin a unicellular skin, so very mm. thin one, mm. which cover completely the bead. We call that the pearl sac. And from that pearl sac, made deposit of crystal around the bead to produce mother of pearl and to produce the culture pearl. Mm -hmm. So that's true that if Mr. Mikimoto didn't think of that uh, crazy technique, mm. today we will not be we will not be here to produce uh, culture pearl. Yeah. I don't think anybody else will think of this crazy thing yeah. <laughs> to produce pearl. <laughs> mm. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, once we have seed the shell, we put them again on a rope. We suspended the shell like that in the lagoon. So all our shells are, are between 8 to 10 meters under the surface on rope. Yeah, yeah. These ropes are hang on the bottom with big uh, concrete and maintain at that depth with uh, some kind of boys. Mm -hmm. Every three weeks we have to add boys on the line mm -hmm. just to maintain them at the good depth. Mm -hmm. And also every two months we have to take them, take, take